Welcome back. So I have changed the drawing a bit about what I'm going to implement and this is version 2 right here. Now I renamed this guy to order lines. It just it's better I think than the old name where it said order items. And the other thing I did is just to show you guys a many to many relation I actually added the address down here. Now we actually already have a many to many relation between order and product but I already kind of draw the, drew the order line so I think I'll show you a clean setup down here where we have an address that has many customers or can be on many customers and a customer that can have at least one address but also more addresses. Now would we do that in normal system? I don't know. I just want to show you a many to many relation and I thought this was the easiest way to show you and explain to you that a customer is going to have more than one address and an address can be on zero to many customers. Now we're kind of forced into thinking this many to many relation. Let's try and implement it. Now what did I do? I actually changed the code a bit. Now you can go and grab that on GitHub if you want to. I actually went in there and um, I added the address all the way uh, to the REST API and all the way back. I did not add an address controller. You can go that, do that yourself. But I added the services and everything else so we can actually have addresses in a customer. So let me try and show you what we actually, do, what we actually did. Let's start all the way from the bottom of our diagram right here all the way down in the data access layer because I made a lot of changes right here. I'm going to run over them fairly quickly because this is actually a rinse and repeat. We already did this a few times, so it's not that complex actually. Step one is I added a new address, the actual address that I want to use. I add that in the entities and it looks something like this. It has an ID, it has a street, a number, a city, and it's going to contain a list of customers. Why a list of customers? Well, that's actually because we have the relation, right? We have the, an address has zero to many customers, so we need a list of customers. Good. We have um, the ID, the street number, and the city. Of course, these might be different. You might even put city in its own class. That's up to you. So that's the address. Now, the customer, of course, also needs to know about its addresses now instead of a single address. So I also made something called addresses. I don't know even know if that's how we should put it, but that's how I put it. <laughs> Live with it. And why does it need a list of addresses? Well, again, back to the diagram, I say a customer now has a list of addresses, right? Because of this relation. Sweet, so that's why we have the many-to-many -many relation. I might as well just tell you, you can't run this right now. It will break if you try and run it because we didn't fix this in the right way. But let's just get the actual code out of the way and then we'll make a fix next lesson. So now we have the customer and the address bound together. The next thing I did is I have to explain to the table, so I'm going into the app context here, customer app context, because I have to explain to the, that there's actually a new table called addresses. So this new table is now also available in our database, right now in the in-memory database, but now we also have the addresses available. Okay, what else do we need? Well, of course we need to start building the repository as well. We need to have an address repository. There we go. So we have the new address repository right here, and that's pretty much just like the order repository and the other ones. We have a, the Tie crot setup right here. Nothing new in here either, but the repository needs to be there. The address repository, of course, needs to have an interface. So I add an IRA address interface right here as well. Ta da! That's also available. Unit of work, it needs to expose that interface. And of course, also the unit of work needs to kind of implement a property for the address repository. So notice, rinse and repeat. I'm just starting to build everything uh, from scratch here to get it all the way into. Um, maybe into a controller in the REST API, but at least get it into the services.